Hey, what's up guys? Welcome, welcome on .com. In this video, I have a package I'm shipping out to a customer. It's a kimono. And uh, I just want to show you guys uh, what a small package looks like for those who don't know. Basically, a small package, uh, whenever I send stuff out, if it qualifies for a small package, you get a reduced shipping rate. But, you know, you got to follow the rules. And one of the rules is that the box size it must be 90 centimeters or less. You have to measure the uh, the width here from left to right, and then the height, you know, height right here, and then the length from here to over here. So if you add those three, and as long as it's you know 90 centimeters or less, it qualifies as a small package. And also, um, yeah, the weight must be 2,000 kilograms or less, and that would qualify as a small package. You know, I wouldn't put like really expensive items in here uh, because there is a limit on the amount of insurance you can put on. But for most of the items, you know, I think this is the best option, especially, you know, let's say shipping it to the USA, um, most of the time it arrives within like 7 to 14 business days. It's really fast. Uh, comes with the tracking number, so you can track it as well. So, and I want to show you the, uh, the inside of this box. So this is how I packaged it. Um, I created this little area right here for storage. This uh, customer also ordered this uh, hair clip. And during the transit, you know. I thought that maybe the stuff will move around and it might damage the hair clip. So by putting it inside here, you know, even if these uh, move, hopefully it won't get damaged because I have it well protected under here. So you know, when I ship items, I make sure that it's packaged well, so it doesn't get damaged during the transit. And this particular package, um, when I asked the Amazon seller. It came out to be over 2,000 kilograms, which meant that, you know, it doesn't qualify as a small package. But after I received the item and put it in, I found that it's just under 2,000 kilograms. So it actually worked out, because initially the customer maybe thought about shipping it out as two separate packages so that it would qualify as a small package uh, to get a cheaper shipping rate. But I found that, you know, I don't have to do that. So that way, you know, the customer saves money on shipping and I don't have to ship, ship it out as uh, two separate packages. So, and one thing I want to mention is that if you browse products through Amazon Japan, it shows you the, the weight of the item. Not all the items, but some of them they do. But I found that most of the time, that weight is inaccurate. A lot of times it's actually more than the way it's shown. So I would never trust whatever it says. You know, that's why sometimes I contact the seller directly to ask what is the shipping weight as opposed to what is the product weight. Because at the end of the day, uh, when you're shipping out items, you're not just shipping out just the product, you gotta put the item inside the box and ship it out. So there is the added weight as well. So sometimes I don't know that. And whatever is shown from the product page can be uh, inaccurate, I guess because uh, the sellers, they don't really spend much time figuring out what the weight of the item is. A lot of the sellers from Amazon Japan, they don't ship out items internationally. So they could care less what the item weighs. But anyways, so if you guys are looking to purchase a kimono or other items from Amazon Japan or any of the other websites here in Japan, shoot us an email, wakuwakumono at gmail.com and also check out our other services by visiting us on the net wakawakamono.com forward slash services for items not available for international shipping from Amazon Japan or any other websites in Japan you can use our service where we purchase the items for you here in Japan and ship to your country for details you can visit our website wakawakamono.com or send us an email to wakawakamono at gmail.com